Rock Band is a rhythm game where you use instrument peripherals to uh, simulate the experience of being in a rock band. I think people love listening to music, they love dancing to music, but not everybody is a musician. So we really like exploring new ways to let people feel connected to music um, using technology, and video games is one way for us to do that. Alex Rogopoulos and Arana Gozi were actually students at MIT, and they wanted to create software that would allow non-musicians to experience the joy of making music, and sort of harmonics was born out of that. There were some early experiments they did with a game called The Axe that allowed players to sort of like make different like musical sounds using the mouse. Not super successful there, but Alex uh, tells a story about seeing a Japanese rhythm game called Parappa the Rapper, which was a sort of beat match gameplay game. Kick, punch, punch, and chop the door. And from there, he realized that there could actually be like a, you know, a scored gameplay there for something really unique and different. And from that was born games like uh, Frequency and Amplitude, which is a rhythm game that you play with the controller, and the original Guitar Hero and Guitar Hero 2. That the original guitar game was like unproven. It was like kind of a thing where nobody was sure if it was going to be a hit. It's very expensive to create peripherals. And when, when it caught on and it, and it blew up, it seemed like, oh, like this is the opportunity for us to sort of like fulfill our vision and like see it through. So when you actually talk to some of the folks who worked on the original Guitar Hero game, the concept was always to have this full band experience. Uh, the guitar was the starting point for that. And I think if they had more resources at the time, they probably would have blown it out. And then from there, the natural evolution was uh, rock band. Really, it was this moment in time where it was like the biggest game in the world. It was totally unexpected. And then like, we, you know, we could look back and see like what we did. And we did release a lot of games in a, like a pretty short span of time. And I think it, we did that because it's what the market had asked for at the time. And the games did actually very, very well, Rock Band 1 and Rock Band 2. And then Rock Band 3 did not quite as well as the other games. And then you did see like a dip in sales. Um, and then like we didn't release another Rock Band game for years. And still, monthly, hundreds of thousands of unique players were actually hopping online. We were able to see these people still playing the game. And right now is a really good time to bring the games back because they can't have this experience anymore on their current consoles, and like we're able to bring it to them. In terms of how it's going to be different this time, I think the way we're approaching Rock Band is as a live service is what we're calling it. So instead of sort of like saturating the market and like forcing a game down people's throats every year. We will ship a Rockman 4 game this year. We will build on that game with feature updates and content updates and bigger innovations that we think are important to the franchise.